All right, class, so this is an Alex advanced topic, and um, the title of it is Determining the Volume of Base Needed to Titrate a Given Mass of Acid. And so the given mass of acid in this case is this 0 0.0533 grams of hydrobromous acid, HBRO, into a 250 milliliter volumetric flask, and then diluting to the mark with distilled water. This bit of information here about the 250 milliliter volumetric flask, it's really extraneous information. We don't really need it to solve this problem. Um, and sometimes we're gonna see stuff like this where it's really just in there, not necessarily to trick you, um, but you might think that it is a little tricky. Um, but it's, it's in this case not necessary, and we'll talk about that as we solve the problem. He plans to titrate the acid, or she plans to titrate the acid with 0 0.0700 molar sodium hydroxide. So this is the base that I'm going to use to do the titration. And then it says calculate the volume of sodium hydroxide solution the student will need to add to reach the equivalence point. Right? So we're going to be looking for the equivalence point. Round your number two, three, sig fix. So the first thing that I might do is just draw a little picture. Here I'm going to have my sodium hydroxide, 0 0.0700 molar. And then in my flask, Right, I'm gonna have my HBRO solution. And so this HBRO solution, this is gonna be where my 0 0.0533 grams is gonna be in here. And then I'm gonna be adding the sodium hydroxide. And really I just wanna know how much of the sodium hydroxide I'm gonna to need to add to get to the equivalence point here. Um, always, always, always what I would encourage you guys to do is, is write out a balanced chemical equation sodium hydroxide plus HBRO is gonna react to form water. The first thing that we wanna be writing down here is water. Again, we know it's a neutralization reaction, acid and base, we're gonna be forming water. And so in this case, the H plus from BRO, that's, that's gonna be this you know, hydrogen here, combined with the OH from sodium hydroxide, and then really what's left over, right? We're really not that concerned with what's left over. It is good to write it out so that we have a balanced chemical equation, but I'm just taking the sodium, I'm just taking the BRO, which would be sort of a BRO minus piece, because we're taking H plus from HBRO, and just putting those together over here, NABRO, just to have a balanced chemical equation. This is a one to one to one to one chemical reaction, um, but it's always good to have that, that balanced chemical equation to think about what's happening in this reaction. We're titrating, you know, this HBRO with the sodium hydroxide. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the, the number of moles of HBRO, right? If this is a chemical reaction, we always want to know the number of moles. You want to be, be working with that. Grams of HBRO times one mole over, so the molecular mass of this HBRO, if you add all of that up together, you get 96.91 grams. My units of grams will cancel. And this equals 5.50 times 10 to the minus fourth moles of HBRO. Now, this problem gives us this information that we're putting it in a 250 milliliter volumetric flask, but that's really irrelevant. It really does not matter how much water we put in there, because all we're really concerned about is the number of moles of HBRO that we're gonna react with our number of moles of sodium hydroxide. It's a one-to-one -one mole to mole ratio. So we can do that calculation where we say, well, if this is the number of moles of HBRO, how many moles of sodium hydroxide am I gonna to need to add in order to neutralize this you know, acid, in order to get to the equivalence point for this reaction? So I would just write one mole of NaOH over one mole of HBRO, right? My, my units of moles of HBRO will cancel out, and I'll just be left with the same number of moles of sodium hydroxide at the equivalence point. Okay, the next step, is to determine the volume of NaOH that will be required to give 0. Point, or excuse me 5.50 times 10 to the minus fourth moles of NaOH. So this is really the, the question uh, that we need to solve for the last part of this. And, you know, I, I'm sort of um, asking myself this question because we're looking for a volume. Like, I know my final answer is supposed to be a volume. Uh, we're given a molarity of the sodium hydroxide. 
and we have a certain number of moles that we need to sort of get to, essentially. The calculation that I would do, 5.50 times 10 to the minus fourth moles times, and now I've got 0 0.07 molar sodium hydroxide. So the way I would set this up is I would say one liter is to 0 0.0700 moles. So this means that's the number of moles per every liter, right? Molarity is moles per liter. And I'm gonna do a conversion factor here. I'm gonna say, this is the number of moles I want. I can cancel out the moles, and this calculation will give me 0 0.00786 liters of my sodium hydroxide solution. So the way that we sort of, you know, are doing this last part, you sort of have to, you know, it's sort of like problem solving, figuring out how to put these numbers together, um, sort of keeping all of this straight. If you're blindly doing this bottom step, uh, that's not good, right? If you're blindly doing this and you're not really sure, you can't really explain why you're doing this calculation and what this really means, that's what I want you guys to sort of think about and ask me questions about. And there are other ways to do this. We could do a, a cross multiplication or something like that. Um, but this is the way that I would like to set it up and this is you know, how I would get to my final answer. So this uh, 0 0.00786, that's in liters. I wanna to convert to milliliters. So that would be 7.86 milliliters. That is my, my final answer for this problem. So just going back through it one more time, right? Starting at the top, you wanna to sort of say to yourself, what is this? What is the question saying, right? You know, here's the number of, of grams of this acid. Um, I'm going to be titrating it with this sodium hydroxide solution. I drew a little picture here. I wrote out a chemical equation that would, you know, represent what's going on in this, in this problem. Um, I found the number of moles of acid that I had in here. And I related that number of moles of acid to the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that I would need to add to get to the equivalence point to, to run this reaction to completion. Once I know the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, then I'm really sort of figuring out, okay, well, how do I get that number of moles of sodium hydroxide? I get that from this molarity of sodium hydroxide solution. And the way that I would calculate that is what I've shown down here, taking the number of moles and then dividing essentially by the molarity to get me to my volume of sodium hydroxide. All right, hope that helps.